Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. I was trying to update my Young New O YN968N Flash with the new firmware and could not figure it out, could not find it on the internet anywhere. Now I already have a video kind of covering how to update the YN685. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. But I did do a video of if you're running into a specific issue with it concerning uh, using maybe a 50, a fixed lens like a 50 millimeter or 35 millimeter that I ran into. I think it was the 85 that I ran into with it. So I have a video below concerning updating this but my, uh, actually on my video there's links of where to go and look at some other videos showing exactly how it's done but here's something I found there's no videos on how to do this and if you try to do this with the YN968 and the same way you try to do it with the 685 it is a total no go and the reason that they are different is that you use the trigger to update the 685. On the YN968, you have a micro USB port, which is right there, where you plug it directly to your computer to do the software update. But the problem you're going to run into is that when you try to use the utility, the flash update utility here, it's not going to recognize the YN968 at all. No matter what you do, no matter how you try, it's not going to uh, uh, recognize this flash. And I finally figured out after hours and hours of playing with it, and I couldn't find anything on any form showing how you do this. So I want to show you how this is done. And here's the weird thing. The YN968 being what it is, it's not just a flash, it's a trigger. And you would never probably think that you need to use the trigger utility. So the bottom line is you must use the trigger utility to update this flash. Let me say this first. If you break your flash, don't blame me. But it worked. Perfect. I updated it with the new 1.09 uh, firmware update. I've used it. Matter of fact, it fixed an issue that I was having with it that I will mention at the end of this video. So what you gotta do is go to the internet, go to the youngnewrumors.com website. Uh, over to the right of, of this, it says uh, firmware, but you gotta get to the firmware go down download the trigger update utility once you get the trigger update utility download it and i'll bring it up here that's the flash utility this is the trigger utility you open it you take your flash take a usb to micro usb cord plug it in to your computer get it set up you hold down the mode button and you turn it on. You see this one's already updated. Once you turn it on, this utility will automatically recognize the device as the YN968N. It will say it right there on the device information. Then you go and find the firmware I'm going to go back to the internet here, kind of show you. you upload the, download the firmware, which is, I have a Nikon. This is Canon. This is Nikon. Download the firmware. I would suggest you put it in a folder on your desktop and to make sure to um, extract it. You got it. You have to extract these before you can unload. So you, you download it. I, I kind of show that here. Uh, move this out the way. I'm going to bring this over. I put it in a folder. You you go to the firmware itself. You right click. And you go. And it will say extract over here. 
somewhere in this list, extract it. You want to extract it right in the folder that you have it in. Once you do that, you have your software here, pull this back into the middle of the screen. You have the up, updater, uh, the Young Newer Trigger updater. And it's like I say, so now you browse to it, you kick your browse. I kind of go through that. You find it on your desktop, on your desktop, wherever you have it. Click on it. You click open. It will put it in here under the firmware information. And this will be lit up, update. Click on update. It will do start the updates. Um, go through a little process, da da da. All that happens. You hear a couple beeps. Once it gets it loaded to your YN968, you will hear the zoom head move, and then you'll hear a beep, and then you will see here basically something congratulations, your firmware has been updated. Once you do that, you unplug it from your computer and you're good to go and it works perfectly. Uh, just to mention you will need to go in and any of the settings that you had in here you're going to have to go back in and put back in the settings again. I'm turning it off, turn it back on, come to the regular screen you uh, go to your menu button which is this one here hold it down, go back to your settings so if you were shooting crop uh, set it back to DX or any other light settings or y'all know about the settings that are in there go ahead and put those back in now here's the issue that i've been dealing with was yesterday um, i had a you don't need to listen to the rest of this unless you've had this issue i had a sweet 16 that i was shooting in a building that had a second floor to it it was it was two floors and the second floor had a veranda or whatever you call it around it and I had set up some lights up there and they were in slave mode and it was so intermittent because the ceiling was black and I'm trying to light up the place for the Sweet 16 but I wasn't using this flash so what I was doing yesterday I was testing it out at home and what I noticed that this would do even though and I'll show you here well, on the screen and I'm gonna change a setting here turn this back on say this one's on my camera which is where it would be not 60 uh, uh, the 968 in would be on your camera and I wanted to set these other two speed lights that are just on stands at a quarter power and I wanted them on manual because I have them up high and I just want them to stay at the same power output what I found was when I was wide, I was using a Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter lens. Lens. So when the lens was at 17 millimeter, it, everything lit up fine. But soon as I zoomed the lens to 50, the power on the nine 685s, excuse me, on the 685s would drop down to like, oh, I couldn't measure the output, but it was like 128 because you could see it in the exposure. The exposure would drop way down. When I zoom back out, the exposure would go back up again to normal. And no matter what I did here on this, whether I set this, uh, the uh, main, the M is your, is this flash here. Whether I set it to main, I mean set it to TTL, excuse me, or whether I set it to manual, it would do it every time. Even if I set this one to manual, and I set it to, uh, if I set this one to full power, especially on manual, uh, the whole system would just go, uh, the power settings would go everywhere. If I set it to, uh, uh, you know, uh, almost just one, uh, a third of a step down, it would kind of work, but it still would not put out the same amount of power the power on the manuals here would cons consistently change when I zoomed in and out. Now that I've updated the software in the, in the 968, it works perfectly fine. The, both of them stay at a quarter power. The TTL works. Everything works. So 
If you're having issues, I recommend, of course, update your your 685s to the latest firmware. Um, I don't remember the latest firmware here. Let me see. It's uh, well, I think it's <laughs> it says 138 here. I think it's 1.3.8. I think it's actually what it looks like on the website. Um, and update this one to 1.09 and everything will start working perfectly again. Hope that helps somebody out. You guys have a blessed day.